Can geotagging photos help your business rank higher on Google Maps and Google local search results? This is a question that has been going around for a long time in the local SEO community and has divided the opinion of many so-called search engine optimization gurus. If you want to know the definitive answer to this burning question, Stay tuned. Hey, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. If it's your first time here today, why don't you subscribe and click on the bell button before the end of this video so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. There are a lot of tactics and strategies available on the web on how to use images to help your business rank higher on Google Maps or just simply on Google local search results. While some of them can be valuable, many of them can be misleading or even worse, completely useless. One of the most popular strategies I have come across is to geotag the photos you load on your Google My Business listing or on your website so you can rank higher on Google Maps or Google local organic results for the city or town in which you want your business to be found. Before I let you know whether this is an effective strategy or not, for those of you who don't really know what I'm talking about, let's have a look at what geotagging really means and how it is applied in practice. According to Wikipedia, geotagging is a process of adding geographical identification metadata to various media such as a geotagged photograph or video, websites, SMS messages, QR code or ISS feeds and is a form of geospatial metadata. That's a bit of a mouthful. In layman's terms, it means you can embed location information data such as latitude and longitude to your photos and other digital assets. Looking at the properties of some random image on my computer, you can see it holds a lot of information, including such data in the form of GPS coordinates. Many believe that adding the latitude and longitude details of where their business is located to their photos will help Google associate their business to this location and push their Google My Business listing higher up on Google Maps and Google local search results. Let me show you how it's done. First, take a few pictures of your business, like your premises, your team, some of the products that you sell, etc. Then using a free geotagging tool like this one, drop in the photos for which you want to add the latitude and longitude information of your business. You could search for the address of your business by using the postcode functionality to make this simpler, but you would have to pay. Instead, you can use the pin from the map and place it exactly where your business is located, then click on the right XF tag button. Your picture should now be tagged with your business coordinates. To verify this is the case, just download your image, right click on it and select properties, then click on the details tab and scroll down. The GPS information details matching your business location should have been added to the image. In theory, all you need to do is repeat the process for each and every image and add them either to your listing or your website to rank higher on Google Maps or Google local results for your location. But in practice, this is a flawed strategy and here is why. Firstly, most photos businesses load on their listing nowadays are taken using a mobile phone, which by default automatically adds geographical information to them. Since you would take photos of your business within the city or town you are targeting, the GPS coordinate will already be added to them. Try it yourself. Take a picture using your mobile phone, then export it to your computer or laptop. Right click on it, then go to properties. Click on the details tab, then scroll down. The latitude and longitude information should already be there, so there is no need to add them. Secondly, whenever you add a photo to your listing, Google will automatically strip off the latitude and longitude data. If you want to verify this, you can simply load an image on your listing. Once loaded, download it back from your listing to your computer. It's a bit tricky to download an image from a listing, but if you really want to do this, here is how it's done. Bring up your listing on Google and click on the photo option. Right click on the photo and select inspect. On the right hand side panel, click on sources and expand the LH5 Google user content, then expand the P folder. Scroll down the images and select the ones you've loaded with GPS coordinate, then right click on the image and select the save image as option. Go to the properties of that image, then select the details tab. You will not find any GPS coordinate in there as it has been removed. This proves beyond any reasonable doubt that geotagging your images to get your Google My Business listing rank higher on Google Maps 
is a complete waste of time. If you have been using this strategy, you've been poorly advised. But what about loading geotagged images on your website? Surely it has some value since the GPS coordinates will not be automatically stripped off and should send a strong local signal to Google. To find the answer, I suggest you check out this study from Joy Hawken, owner of the local SEO agency Sterling Sky and Google product expert, who tested this theory on several websites for several different businesses. She added geotagged photos to the web page the Google My Business listing of each respective business was linking to. She tracked rankings for all the sites over several weeks. And the results? There was no increase in rankings for any businesses on local organic search results. This should put an end to the geotagging photo debate once and for all. If you are watching this video and were considering using this as a tactic, don't. It doesn't work you're better off focusing on a different strategy. That's it for today, guys. It was short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If it was your first time here today, consider subscribing. And until next time, happy marketing.